What's good guys, we're back again with another Rick and Morty reaction. I'm here with my bros. And this one, season four, episode three. We're excited to see it, so let's get straight let's into go. it. Let's go, boys. Is that an origami oh, yeah, horse? It's a calling card from Miles Knightley, a heist artist, aka a hipster dick whose adventures are 60% putting a crew together and 40% revealing that the robbery already happened and he's not worth our time because he's a hack piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Morty. This temple's for fucking lame, baby. Convention now. Come on, what are we doing? Huh? Tuxedo okay, scuba yeah. lessons? Ooh, a signing with Catherine's Alpha through Omega Joneses. You know, this is great source material for this heist movie that I'm writing. Don't get drunk. <laughs> 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 stealing stuff is about the stuff, not the stealing. Where is the entrance? Oh, brother. <laughs> More like trying too hard, Con. <laughs> yes, professional badges, you need to put a crew together. Or we could sneak in like professionals. Can't wait. <gasps> Ooh, oh, shit. And you wonder why we aren't fans. <laughs> let that ointment sit for 10 minutes or you'll die. Don't let it sit for 12 or I'll have to hunt down what you become. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you for asking, Morty. That would be a symbolic expression of support for this genre. Then how do we get in? With a little help from some old friends. Vindicators. Uh, how about a rhetorical one from someone that had to be reminded that you exist? Now, <laughs> that's not the question line. Oh my god. Let <laughs> 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 oh, Rick Sanchez, everyone. Bro. Smartest man in the universe. And a savage critic. Of the heisting arts. Your moves mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. <laughs> you stole the gym I needed to split tachyons and probably fenced it so the 80 people that did all the it's work could each buy a beer. You're not an artist, you're postmates. I doubt this rivalry can be settled with words. Why don't we make things Aww, interesting? I, I challenge you to heist the crystal skull of Horowitz. In a heist off! <laughs> Interesting. It makes them Ocean's Twelve. By far the worst one. Uh, uh, I said by far the worst one. Hey, Captain Knightley Saint, or just three of Sanchez's five? The <laughs> heist is complete without a double cross, and I had the perfect job. Heisting the Crystal Skull. That was it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Did you just did it. That's the one that needed to be available for the job. And I heisted it before they even oh, yeah, yeah, I just realized yeah, yeah, no one even oh, established it before they even started. That's what Sajin said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, said oh, he always does that. Like, he'll, he'll challenge you to a heist and then you realize that it's already been stolen. Rick, this whole team. welcome to Nightly's Nine. But he's the one who oh, is. Oh, 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 you can do this though. For real? Yeah, you got that skull, buddy? What? How? With a little help from some old friends. Oh, he already took it from before. He, he did it first. Oh, well, what? Heist is run. State your prime directive. Two heist. Calculate Miles Knightley's current heist plan and add one double cross with a switcheroo. Compiling crew members most likely to double cross. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, 40 bucks. Count each chance is 3,329? Yes. Your next big score? Steal every square inch of heist con. <laughs> Why? That is not a heist. 
saving life. <laughs> Let's see what that, that what resources, bro. Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> like Galactus, oh. bro. Oh. I think we got to it. Commencing getting out of here before they get wise. <laughs> Does not confuse me. You are here now. That <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still there. I know. It was part of mine, too. I've got something to tell you. Let me guess. When you invented me and Randotron, you swapped our brains. That's right, buddy. You're not the one that's very good at planning. You've been making this shit up the whole time. Rick, I think there's something you should know. She took the nuts. Oh, that is this something is I mad. Know. Or at least something I should have predicted. Well, if the brain inside of you is actually Heistatron, <laughs> it matters say. because it explodes when it hits six levels of contrivance. Which is exactly why even beasts. <laughs> <laughs> Initiate clap sequence. I programmed you to believe <laughs> that. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> A most curious algorithm. <laughs> heist is one that was never written. Goodbye. Whoop! Oh, 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 no. Shit, alright, let's get the f out of here. Hurry, go. Man, you know, I, yeah. I'm starting to think heists are just really dumb now, you know? <laughs> I can't put They're my the on my I'd really like to go. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm sure. Make money, man. Money. It's as if someone stole his enthusiasm for his own idea. Yeah, without him even knowing about without it. Without him even knowing about it. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate heist. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Five of my friends got Netflix deals. What? It's a very achievable goal. You could lose him. I'm not gonna f lose him. F that. I'm, I'm gonna nip this shit in the butt. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you're not nipping anything in the butt. If Morty ever gives up on a single dream, it had better be because of his own disillusionment. <laughs> Hey buddy, how'd it go? I, I don't want to talk about it. Thanks for staying positive about my prospects, Rick. Of course. You know, I gotta got help my grandson follow his dreams. Ah, who needs dreams? I'll just hang out with you and go on adventures and do whatever you oh. want to do. Oh, well, uh, okay. Why are you going to Bro, show me evil yeah. Morty, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, What's going on, yeah, bro? We need some comeuppance, bro. Come on, man. Hey, Rick, can you walk me through something? Yeah, what are you thinking? So, you and Morty knew you needed my help, but you weren't sure I was good enough at karate, so you hired my grad students to attack me? Yeah, they just randomly started yeah. attacking me. But it was an emergency, Rick. How long did that take? It actually took less training than you'd think. Your students all shared a pretty keen aptitude for martial arts. I don't know if that's by coincidence or if there's some correlation with their passion for African American women's studies. This one's teaching. Yeah. Ooh wee. That's exactly the kind of connection I'd have loved to explore in my class. Too bad I lost my job for putting my students in the high. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Nah, revenge, bro. <laughs> Rick is actually a bad guy. Oh, he put him back. He, he, he heisted his, he, he heisted his career. <laughs> vengeance. No, 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 vengeance no, needs to be no, high. Team didn't know I was still good no, at the game. Get me back to the morning, bro. I need to know what's going on. Because you know when he comes through, bro. I need to know what's going on with the city, though, bro. Because real talk. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, Come on, man. Yeah, bro. There's two episodes left. If the next episode is a point, it's not going to be. It's not. I'm it's going to be upset, episode five. Right? It's going to be episode five. If 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 anything, this season will be episode five. Right? Anyways, what did you think of the episode? I'm yeah, really good. yeah, it was good. It was a good yeah, episode. It's one I enjoyed watching back. Yeah. I enjoyed this one more much more than the other ones that have come across. Yeah, hundred percent. Cool. And not asking as well, yeah. Rick, blood. Oh, oh, now you ask, yeah. I thought it was good. I think it was probably the one that I enjoyed the most. Yeah. Um, out of all of them. Yeah, this is one of the ones that you're you're gonna enjoy rewatching and noticing all the other little bits. I, I feel like think, this yeah, is gonna yeah, be yeah. one of those episodes that you're not gonna laugh at the same thing twice. Like oh, I you'll laugh at something different that you exactly, didn't notice the yeah. first time. Yeah. I'll probably rewatch this back which I know guaranteed yeah. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna laugh at something else. Because I know that some of those yeah. I might be watching a different part of the screen yeah, 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 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and you'll see things happen quicker and earlier as well. Yeah. So yeah. I'll notice things. <coughs> when I've rewatched other episodes, I'm like, bro, I didn't even notice this the first time. So you yeah. probably noticed the little bits of the heist that actually was happening yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time. But yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it too. It really good, yeah, we do have two more episodes left this year, so hopefully we do see some even more. If we don't, I'm not too bothered, but I know that when it does come through, it's going to be crazy. Mm. Anyways, guys, that was our reaction to Rick and Morty Season 4, Episode 3. Let us know what you thought down in the comments below. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this reaction. Turn the post notifications on. Subscribe if you need my channel. We'll see you in the next one. We Peace. out. What? Taylor about the fucking flex.